Most of the farms around here are, like, if you head slightly off to one side, all five of you will arrive at what is clearly the remains of a farm. There is a fence that clearly went around parts of the outside of this. Um, it's collapsed and sodden in places, and the ground is, again, uneven and not entirely flat. You can see that parts of the um, barn and building have caved in, have collapsed. Most of these houses are made of wood and um, doesn't deal well. Hmm. Um no sign of life whatsoever. Inside the fence was clearly outside of the arable land and more of like the living space, but it just looks overgrown and with puddles of sulfuric water and still that eggy smell that has not stopped and will not stop this entire adventure. Um, oh, it has oh, evaded God. this space. Uh, there is a farmhouse and there is a barn. What would the five of you like to do? Barn. Barn? Yeah. Mm. Barn it. Okay. Uh, the I will say I is I, I can barn make it. the herd. I'll barn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Low barn it. Um, yes. <laughs> um, side barn it. Um, I'll make the hut, but if anything goes wrong, if I step outside the hut, the hut drops, and I don't think I can cast spells through the hut. I think if I stick my hands through the hut to cast a spell, then it will also drop. Fine. I'm just going to check all of that while you lot are talking, <laughs> if, I, if I agree or I disagree. Can do, I can do spells. Yes, you could step. I, you could step oh. outside of it and cast a spell, and then step back yeah. in, yeah. where it's safe. Yeah, sounds but good. I couldn't step outside of it. I'm not. I, it would. I, I think. I will take one for the team, Shavaris. I'm on your side. Well, I think as, if, as are we all. If if it comes to having to fight them, then we'll need you anyway. Yes. So I'll just drop it. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Spells with the magical effects can't extend through the door will be cast through it. You're right, even you can't cast out of your own magical heart. That is correct. Right, that would okay. be ridiculous. I to was... be fair, the joy of what, what could potentially happen is you could set up the hut and then other people could sort of step in and out of it on their turns to fire spells and still be safe. It's impregnable. And then at a certain point, you can drop it and then unleash hell. <laughs> I'm just saying that is an option if you want to do it. Although, please be aware if you're casting a spell from inside the hut, you can only affect things inside the hut. If you're casting it outside, you can affect things outside the hut. What about if yeah. you cast a spell inside the hut and then the person you cast it on steps outside the hut? Magic can't cross the borders, but you've already cast it, so therefore it doesn't matter. If it's not an anti magic with like a concentration spell. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. If you cast, if you if you're in the hut and cast a spell on someone, they leave the hut, but it doesn't drop the hut because they're not Shavarath, Then the concentration maintains the spell still there. Magic isn't being cast through the hut. That's the important distinction. Okay, yes, it's the actual act of casting. Fine. In which case, um, I will uh, start ritual casting the hut. Thank you. Outside the, the barn. In the barn. Okay. Transparent. You've not entered the barn yet, and the door oh. is closed. Oh, should, oh, I do it well. out, should I do it outside the barn? No, I think ground here is not in the, the ground oh, here. Is, we need to go in the a barn. pockmarked mess. I'm going to stand behind someone else's. Yes, I, open I, I, I will. I will open. I will open this door. I will go up. And... You want me to get off your shoulders, mate? Nope. Okay, I'll help push. <laughs> I'm going to go up and give it a swift kick. This is not being stealthy at all. Thomas is ready with shield and sword. Yes. Uh, is there? Is this an athletics check again? Now, Mlin takes a step back. <laughs> sure. I mean, although if you're if you're just gonna kick it, then then well, is maybe check that it's not locked first. Oh, is it? Uh, uh, fine, and I will go up and try the handle, if there is one. It's a barn. It doesn't have a handle. All right, all right. I'll try and pull <laughs> the thing aside. There is a large double wooden door. <laughs> awesome. Okay, it probably has a bar on the inside. Why are doors so hard in D&D? Just open the door. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I was going to try and give it a kick. If there's a bar on the other side, then this will not work. However, I will... Do you, I will... Kick, it? Do you kick it? Do you kick I it? kick it. You kick the door. Okay, good. You, you kick the door. Um, you, know. you step up and you kick the door. And it... Oh, okay. Opens ominously. Um, it's a large door. It's, um, it's a good sort of 10... 15 foot high and the whole doorway would probably be about 20 feet across wow. it's a big barn what's well, a barn oh. it's, it's yeah true, true. Um, as you open the door the stench <laughs> wafts oh. out of it my oh. god looking inside it's dark in the barn but the smell is awful it's dark in the barn sounds like a, the start of a kid's book it's dark in the barn it's dark in the barn it's <laughs> <laughs> awful I would, yeah i would enjoy that children's book i'm not sure children would but i think it's I dark would. in the barn children oh, Can God. We open the door how many zombies are in the barn one zombie <laughs> two zombies three zombies 
four? If I have an apple in one hand and a zombie in the other, <laughs> how many hands do I have? The answer is one. The zombie <laughs> ate it. <laughs> um, Hal has kicked the door. It is dark in the barn. There are sort of. I will sl- chuck a light pebble in. I Let's need a light on a pebble and chuck it in. I need an orange with cloves. <laughs> The thing to sniff okay. makes, makes the smell better. All right. Yeah, in the 18th what century. What use is a Christian <laughs> situation? Um, Dumaris, you light up a pebble and chuck it in. Uh, the pebble. In fact, Christingle would be so useful. It would be a light source and the smell of <laughs> Hang on. Point yeah, of order. A Christingle is not what Ed is oh. describing. They are two different Look, things. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they are and different. A no, in a, anyway, it doesn't matter. What's Sorry, in was... the barn? What's in the barn? <laughs> What's in the barn? <laughs> it's not dark in there anymore. <laughs> I can say word of radiance. Your pedal, your pedal, your pebble pedal. Ding, ding, bounces in and the light that shines around the inside of this barn. There is a pile in the center of this barn of what looks like burned corpses. Looking, Looking oh. at the burned corpses, they're mostly not human. They appear to mostly be um, cows, sheep. Why were they doing this? This is horrific. Well, maybe they had a disease. That, oh. They're like drinking mouth. sulfuric water. Yes, Possibly so poison them. So they were putting them out of their misery. They as... probably, they probably killed them first and then burnt the corpses as a way to... But... Sorry, yes, no, I didn't think they were burning them to death. That would be inhuman. Yeah. It wouldn't be in a pile if that was the case. Either. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, as the pebble bounces and as you see this, like, charnel pit of um, dead animals... Is there going to be a zombie cow? Please. There is not going to be a zombie cow. Oh. But from around <laughs> behind the um, pile, a figure does lurch into view... There is sort of remnants of um, outfit, of clothes, but this figure moving towards you looks vaguely humanoid, vaguely human, but as they step forward, they just open their mouth and a oh, rather no. horrifically long tongue sort of like oh. out of their mouth as they start to move towards the five of you by the door, although two of you did step back. Now, see here, you are deeply unappetizing. What exactly are you? Can I? <laughs> they scream. Chromatic of them? Hang on. They scream loudly. And as they do, you hear other screams oh, good. from the farmhouse. Oh, and wait, I need wait, wait. I've played this game. To roll initiative. I've played yes, this now, game. That's clickers. a smoker. We need to look out for it. No, 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 not clickers. That's a different, <laughs> different game. Absolutely. Left for dead. You've got the smokers. You need to keep an eye out for the tanks. Wait, that's me. Which are they lighting now, folks? <laughs> oh, wow. that's a 17. Nice. 15 nice. for me. What was that, hun? 15. 15. That's a 6. 6? I was often scared to sit in my tiny hut and start casting buff spells on everyone. But... So what did everyone roll? Uh, 4. 4. 15. Fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Six. Six. <laughs> Your finest thirteen. Thirteen. Thank you. But you rolled a three. 13. I did. Plus ten, but you know. What are you going to do? be worse. Unbelievable. <laughs> right. We are gathered. Alert. Yeah. An alert Happy. rogue. <laughs> Inconceivable. Okay, uh, Corey. On Hal's shoulders, Hal kicked the door, so you are in the doorway. This, what looks like a uh, undead monster that you probably don't recognize, is lurching its way towards the three of you by the doorway, and okay. um, is going, four of you by the doorway, and is, no, you stepped back, didn't you, Shavarath? Yeah, I, I'm behind. That's fine, yeah, three, behind three me. of you by the doorway, three of you by the doorway. I'm not... People kicking down doors, that Not just yet. sounds too dangerous. Like, <laughs> you don't want to be close to that. Anyway, Either cre- don't kick down the door or demolish the building. This is Shavarath's. This creature is... Look, rah, I have like, a plan. Mm. It may involve demolishing a building. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
This creature start. is stumbling towards you. Uh, as described, it does have this rather long tongue, which looks a little bit odd. Um, it's definitely, as, you get close, as, as it moves into the pebbles light a bit more clearly, it's wearing the remains of farmhand or farmer's clothing. Oh, no. Stop drooling, you fool! You elongated its tongue? Yeah, just... Uh, it's, a, it's a ghoul, isn't it? Makes me think of um, our mm-hmm. dog, which has a really long tongue, and it makes, me, makes it really cute. Hurry! What do you want to do to our dog? This is a zombie. Don't be here. <laughs> okay. Don't start getting attached to it. That's not going to work at all. <laughs> so I heard other screams from inside the barn. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, from inside the farmhouse. From the farmhouse, which is separate from the barn. Okay. And it's sort of uh, ninety degrees away and a good like, you know. One of one to the farmhouse. That's the, that's a plan. Random. Well, what what I was going to do. Because it doesn't say they have to be creatures I can see. Correct. <laughs> is I was going to cast slow oh, on them. Oh, oh. oh, hang on. You can't cast slow on things you can't, aren't aware of. I heard screams from the farmhouse. It says you hold the time around up to six creatures of your choice in a 40 foot cube. It doesn't say creatures you can see, it says creatures of your choice. I'm going to. No, but you have to know that they're there. You, you can't just do it randomly. I right? do we do hear them screaming. Yes. Okay, the it's range. Perfect. You alter time around up to six years of your choice for a cube within range. You're right, just within range. It doesn't specifically say. I'm going to ask Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> Not directly. I think that's a, I think that's a hundred IQ play. I'll be honest. It says, it says what it says. It said what it said. I am just checking. You I just, think it's, you I just think it's don't magic. like it. If, if Jeremy Crawford says no, I am going to wander wander the house. Just, just say. <laughs> say no, Jeremy Crawford. Say no. Yeah, I'm back on. I'm back on the wander wander side. Say no. <laughs> oh, Chris, come a on. A spell can't target someone behind total cover unless the spell's texture effect says otherwise. So the spell, you don't need to see them for the spell. Wow, there's a lot of debate about this. Um, mm. I'm going to rule that you heard them, therefore you can cast it on them. Yeah, oh, boy. I think that is a better ruling. <laughs> Do wonder one the next turn. I, okay, maybe. Uh, I, I'm going to cast spell on the uh, spell. Well, I'm going to cast slow on the farmhouse. Um, okay. It's a forty foot cube. The farmhouse is bigger than a forty foot cube. So there will be a certain amount of luck of the draw about how many of these you catch. Fine, that's fine. The farmhouse itself. Uh, let's see. It's probably got two stories, but it's not dramatically big. I'd say it's about 30 foot high and probably about 50 foot long. Great. So I can get, like, um, in the middle, maybe five foot on each side, but both stories, basically. Yeah, I'd say so. Roll me a d6. Okay. Um, um, I don't ever want to be not on your side, but if I am and you have that <laughs> smile on your face, <laughs> I am so worried. I rolled a four. Nice. Great. Okay. okay, great. You're going to affect four because you can't see them. You're just random firing, so I think four's pretty good. Uh, what's the save? Uh, it is, I believe, wisdom. Give me a second. Oh, great. These wise undead. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, slow? Wouldn't that be? No. Nah, Wait, hold on. Pretty sure it's wisdom. Maybe. Maybe I'm lying. A magical effect can't make sense. No, it is. It's wisdom. I thought yeah. So. Oh. yeah. Wisdom tends to be the, the one. Will. Tends to be the one. So that's a seven. Uh, Fail. That's a 14. <laughs> also fail. That's a natural 20. Mm. And a five. Yay. Wait. Wait. Yes, 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 five fail. Um, yes. Three fail. Uh, the, the, the natural 20. Yep. Don't lie about There's no point. <laughs> no, no, no. Just spend a luck point. No, no. I'll see him. Uh, I can I can spend a luck point. No, luck why? Point. There's no them. need. A luck point, you have to be able to see them. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Never mind. Uh, three, you know what? Are slowed. Does the tone cool. of their screaming change? <laughs> Modulator. <laughs> um, right. It's either going through a tunnel. Um, good. So, Corey, that's your action and bonus actions movement. Um, I would like to try and do a really graceful jump down from Hal's shoulders. Acrobatics check. And come in front of them and just be like, Wah! 
And you will not hurt my friend. Oh. <laughs> Please let this well, work. It's going to be a dab then. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> no. That's Turn not a dab. Acrobatic <laughs> six. That's a six. Uh, Tides of chaos, please. Nice. Sure. You need to roll a d20 because you cast a spell anyway. Okay, fine. Um, that's a uh, 17. This is Chris's happy place. You do a lovely <laughs> little leap, lovely little leap Ooh. off and land and do the whole ha-cha in front of Halbinet. That's fine. Roll the nat 20. R- yes, roll the nat 20. 20. Roll the d20 because you cast a spell. Okay, so wait. So this is for the spell, is it? For the spell. Okay, so that's a five. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You didn't know what magic said. You're good. Okay. Uh, right, good. Lovely. Shivari. Yes. Um, right. There's a building there. There is. It's got things in it. Correct. Um, <laughs> could I, please, yes. place a fireball in the building in such a way that might potentially demolish the building? Ah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we are. Modus no, it's, it's a barn made out of wood with flammable no, no, bodies. Sorry, not, not the barn, not the, the farmhouse. The, farm. oh. the farmhouse is also oh, made nice. of wood. Oh, I didn't realise that. Good. Uh, fireball is a 40-foot sphere. Yeah, it is. It's um, going to get most of the farmhouse. Could I potentially work out the most, you know, given that I am a demolition expert, <laughs> A deconstruction expert, surely. <laughs> no, but you threw in some random backstory <laughs> last episode. Now you're like, can I now use this, a DM? Um, yeah. hmm. um, to, to work out the best place to place it, it would potentially grab some of the zombies, but also would just, you know... Roll me an investigation check. Oh, Wait, I thought work. the zombies were in the barn. No. Uh, there's one in the there's barn. Zombies. There's one... They're not zombies. There's one zombie in the barn, and there's other zombies in the farmhouse. My dice hate me today. I've rolled a, a fourteen. Fourteen's enough. You um, you work out that if you launch your fireball at the place where most of the wood has started to collapse in, the whole structure will probably collapse in. Uh, you can aim it. You can fire it as a will dex that, saving throw. The house will fail. Will that, the dex saving. Will that also catch some zombies? You don't know. You can't see them. <laughs> the house Do fails. I think likely to. You don't know. You can't see them. I'm asking you as the DM. You don't know, you can't see them. I'm asking you as a player to the game. Uh, the house is 30 foot by 50 foot and it's a 40 foot radius. What do you think? Yes, probably. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cast it at fourth level. Nice. Sure. sure. Um, <laughs> just, right. they, um, they need to make dex saving throws. I'll just point out to you, Chris, that anything that's slowed makes a dex dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. With disadvantage. I'm aware. Um, no, so mi- minus two to any dex saving throws. I'm, I'm, I'm aware that it's, it's not good. Um, <laughs> They're not going to survive. So... We've all seen John Woo movies, yes? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happens to the barn. The barn very clearly just... <laughs> like an explosion uh, happens I inside. Usual, I point my staff at it, the exact point where I want it to set fire, like a little magnifying glass and just like there's a pinprick of light in it. That's awesome. Um, there's an explosion inside this farmhouse. Gouts of flame burst out, shattering what was remained of windows. Um, the roof sort of <laughs> gouts out in places. Um, how much damage did you roll there? 41. 40. Nice. 41. Even if they pass, they're safe. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like the goblins are going to know we're here. <laughs> we wanted to attract their attention. You yeah, even I said think. you were going to start a fire. <laughs> it's just a small one. <laughs> this is not even a problem. We were going to sleep, is the other it's thing. It's also not a small fire. Um, inside, you hear a lot of. <laughs> screams as the whole thing explodes out with burning gouts of flame bursting out of it. As it does... I am going to roll a con save for the house. Okay. It's going to be a pretty high... I'm just going to put my staff back down on the ground and look pleased with my (laughs) staff. Rolled a nine. (laughs) Oh, I think that's totaled. The walls start caving in, expertly placed by the demolitions expert. One falls, oh, no dead. falling outwards, none of that nonsense, all inwards. And the whole thing, despite the explosion being inside it, very good. Um, all of the wooden walls just <laughs> small, but you hear inside floors collapsing, probably stone staircase inside of it. The whole thing collapses in on itself and you've created a pyre. A humanoid figure will stagger out on fire and just 
collapse <laughs> in the I front see. of the house. It was it was clearly dead. I'm not like, you no, killed no, no, the no, random no. farmer. No. No. <laughs> Did not happen. We were all locked in here. <laughs> all my family. No, okay. See, you were worried about being able to do that, but you do it very, very well. So oh, that, that was that was quite a good one. That was a very that was good one. very good. Good lord. It was really good. Do we all take a second out of initiative to just be like, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ghast is still approaching. Uh, Nelman, it is your turn. Ghast! Uh, yes! I guess, I guess uh, is or anybody savage within... Savage Ghoul in Warrior of Waterdeep. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is anyone within uh, five feet of it in combat? Not yet. Uh, then I will hold my action until it approaches someone within five feet of combat. All right. What about if we do that to them? Does Naomlin have experience of fighting ghasts and ghouls? Because I know that Niall does. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm getting my sneak attack. I'm not doing anything other than that. <laughs> Deeply suspicious. So you're going to use what you're... You're going to hold an action to... Attack it, which means you can't use, you can't hold a move. So you're going to stand next to Corey's at the front. Yeah, I'll pull up next to Corey and pull my right. knives out, but uh, behind her. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much like a yeah. Well, I was going to say we've got a we've got a kind of because um, uh, Corey at the front who's small, then uh, Noblin who's yeah. bigger, and then it, we've got a whole we could do it. An <laughs> yeah, because yeah. then if it attacks well. Corey, I can get it before it attacks Corey. Okay. That is true. It's going to stumble forward. As it is now its turn, it is going to stumble <gasps> forward and try and attack Gory because Gory's right there. Sorry, the sound effect was... <laughs> that is not the sound the gust makes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the sound this episode makes. That's it. <laughs> it's going to stumble forward okay. and uh, try to attack Gory. Um Yep. No, go ahead. You can sneak attack it. Slap it. That is... A sweet, sweet 17 plus something, A. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me while I stab this thing to death. Excuse me One... while I stab this guy. Yeah. <laughs> 1d4. Oh, oh, max damage. So that's 9 plus my sneaky, 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 attacky, tacky, tacky, which are 4d6s today. Mm -hmm. uh, we get, oh, pink. Hmm. <laughs> so that, a smile breaking out of pink, I like it. 10, 14. So 14 plus 9 is 23 in total. Yeah. So we'll play. I stab it and I stab it real good. It's not dead. Um, it moves forward, you stab it, and it doesn't even doesn't flinch. I mean, it feels no pain. Mm. And as you stab it, it just sort of. <laughs> you pull the dagger out? Uh, yeah, and then I look at Cry and I'm like, mm, that wasn't good. <laughs> As you pull the dagger out, just this sort of grim ichor will sort of yeah. bubble and burst out of it. The smell was already bad. It intensifies. The stench of a ghast is famously not good. But yes, um, it is now in front of you, and it is going to attack Cory. Uh. It's going to reach forward and try and bite and claw you. <laughs> that is a 19 to hit. Uh, I can't even cast shield on that. <laughs> you take six points off slashing. No, nine points off slashing damage. Ooh. And Ooh, make me points. a constitution saving. Oh, Lord, don't. Oh, um, let's get Okay. Constitution. Yes, please. That's a 19. Nice. Hey. Well done. Well done. You are not paralyzed. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, good. Oh, no. It's bad. Um, but yeah, it's in front of you, just and it's just it's all over Corey, like trying to bite chunks out of Corey and clearly trying to um, infect Corey, make it. He's not thrilled about it. No, no, I wouldn't be either. Um, you, good. Um, is is Corey okay? But was, what was it? Nine points of damage. Yeah. Corey's still in ten. That's just ten hit points. Please. Nice. <laughs> you read that? Things are like finish it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Ooh, nice. You, just boff uh, it on the 20. head with a sword. You of all people now, you just go, <laughs> with a sword. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that's a 25 to hit. Yes. Wow. I love it, I love it. Uh, okay. Kill it with fire. Okay, so that's a 10 non-fire. 
Mm-hmm. And then ten, no fire. Ten, no fire. And then plus another six fire. How do you kill it? <laughs> I, bonk, I don't bonk it on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, how tall is this thing? A humanoid. It's the size of a regular human. So as tall as how? Take it out of the knees. Corrie? I... No, no, Corrie. So Corrie's down there. As tall as Shivara? Get taller. If Naomlin is right there, how would Naomlin feel about Thomas trying to jump on her shoulders to cut its head off? I feel like now is very like for a, for a, you know for a dwarf she she you know she watches her weight but she's quite stout and sturdy um, and I think I think she'd pride herself on being able to lift heavy things but she wouldn't stop you from stepping all over her lovely new cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Step over. Yes, she yeah. she would or she wouldn't. She wouldn't. Okay. Fine. She would think about it. <laughs> Let's so <laughs> be clear. Nermalyn's taller than you. Okay. So if you wanted to use Corrie as an in-between, I'd say you could do a step, step, step up to get to the top. <laughs> this is a John Woo film. Corrie, That's Corrie. Exactly right. Corrie support Thomas's weight? In a full plate arm? <laughs> yeah, I don't Maybe. think so. Maybe not. I'm gonna go with. She would, she would love you to try. What you could just do is, if if you give Nelman a look, Nelman could easily uh, brace a knee so you can leap yeah. off to cut down and probably get the head in one go. Yeah, fine. Do it. <laughs> Nelman would have to agree to brace a knee for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like she'd do it with that effort. So like... <laughs> As you brace now, you take it, leap up, and just boom, two-handed cleave with your sword while holding the shield uh, down across through the sort of neck down into the torso a little bit and it does sort of collapse in. The smell is still awful. Um, As it collapses and hits the deck, it writhes in death, like clearly feeling the pain and writhes and writhes and writhes. The animation takes a long time because it does in game for Warriors of Waterdeep. Um, But yes, (laughs) that's true. Famously long animation of writhing dead ghoul. I don't know why. I think it's true. Is is it going to stop doing that? It will eventually stop. I'm going to nudge the head further away from the body with the shield. <laughs> just to... yeah. can, can Corrie just, like, not not with her hand, but, like, with... Can, with can Corrie just, thing? like, not with her hand? <laughs> just, like, poke it. Um, just... Get a stick. Hang on. Use the wand of wonder. I would never Corrie. touch it with something. Thomas, Nelman, Corrie, you're all within five feet of it. Can you please make a con saving uh-huh. throw? Uh, it smells is this a that poison? bad. This is indeed a poison. Yay! That's a <laughs> no, it's not a yay thing. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Also, no. isn't there, is everybody still exhausted? Thank yeah, God, Shivara did what she did. That was um, useful. That's, that's is this an ability check or a saving throw? Technically, initiative is an ability check, but you know what? These are saving throws, so it's fine. Understood. And fine. Uh, the only ability check that we had there would have been the um, investigation check. So, oh. I rolled a three. <laughs> How much worse could it have been? The one that you then rolled after. That's a 19. Fine. 16. 10. Fine. Curry, you are poisoned. The smell is so bad, you just, you stop. Right. This time you vomit everywhere. I vomit everywhere. But like, I, I'm not even trying to be like shy about it. It's like projectile. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it only lasts for six seconds, so. Six second vomit is plenty. It's quite a long time yes. to just protect Quickly. on. Ah. Oh, you have to count. Oh, wow. Corey. Yeah. I mean, Corey's not the one who vomited. I think it's probably now and then again. I'm just, I'm just prestigitating everything that requires prestigitation. Yeah, just... <laughs> just clean up crew here. Anyway, while you are... Sorry, folks. Don't know what came over me. <laughs> <laughs> 